Welcome to Edinburgh. Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. We're in Edinburgh, capital of Scotland, one of the most architecturally beautiful places in the world. We know there's an incredible food and drink scene here. We have been asked to go to Edinburgh so many times. In a small space, we have got so many places that we want to try out. Edinburgh's not massive, but they're seen it. <laughs> Morning. Do you know what was nice? Is not getting in somewhere super late last night. Well, I'm feeling kind of swagged with my new case. Do I, do I look cool? We landed. It was dark, but it wasn't that late. And then we headed out for some pizza. So we headed down to a place we'd be recommended called Pizza Geeks. Met Patrick, one of the owners. I asked, why did you call it Pizza Geeks? And he said, well, Finley really wanted to open a pizza place. I really wanted to open a comic book store. So we kind of fused those together. We opened a pizza place and filled it with comic book paraphernalia. We had these things called Dragon Balls, which were stuffed with blue cheese and red onion. They were nice, weren't they, Will? Obviously, as we just got to Scotland, on our pizza we had haggis. Semi-rogue. And black pudding. Semi-rogue. Together. Fully rogue. And also they had this great initiative where they have a pizza of the month, and for every one of those pizzas they sell, they give one to the homeless. Nice, eh? Legend. Got your little GoPro charger on my new away suitcase, Will. Done our morning run. The weather was not like that. We get comment a lot being like, how do you eat that much and, uh, you know, not get fat? Well, run loads. Are you starving, Will? I'm starving, mate. Because we're going to hit up one of the best brunch places in all of Edinburgh. Pantry. <laughs> Pantry owned by a couple, met at university. They used to be teachers and they opened this place four years ago. They now own four different places in Edinburgh. We've had great things. Thank you very much. Check that out. This is the one that everyone raves about. This is Sunshine on Storebridge. It's like a load of roasted vegetables, guacamole, spicy kind of relish on there. And this is a pimp my fry. This smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. They've spiced everything and cooked everything so well. It's way more than just vegetables on toast. Pimp my fry. That is a creamy haggis. Mate, that sunshine on Stockbridge surprised me. Vegetarian and vegan if you took off those little poached eggs on top. Right, sun's out. Where are we going? Arthur's seat. Where are we going, bro? Why are we not walking? Because the walk's like two hour long. Hi, mate. Uh, I feel so good today. Oh, it's a bit boggy, like Will. Uh, oh, you made it. Arthur's seat, mate. Arthur's seat. <laughs> Mate, I've got bad news. That's off the seat up there. Yeah, I know. Just really far away. Right, let's keep moving. Right, we're at Cold Town House, right at the foot of Edinburgh Castle, and I'm here with eight Scottish locals. And Will, all these beers here, all brewed here on site, upstairs, come down here, out of the taps, unpasteurised, fresh brewed beer. Some stay consistent all the time, other ones come and go with the seasons. This is the uh, Japanese rice beer, Unagi. This Unagi is brilliant. I think this is the best beer I've ever had. Upstairs, there's a Prosecco bar and a pizza oven they got from Naples, and they had to take the roof off to lower it in. That's dedication to the art of pizza, isn't it, Will? Yes, boss. Ooh, lovely. We're gonna go and try an iron brew, but we've got to get Jesse in the attire before he has the iron brew. Where, where, where does it? There? Yeah? <laughs> you fit the bill, mate. Let's go and get an iron brew. I pulled the label out, and it just pulled a chunk of the hat off. <laughs> First made in New York in 1889. By 1899, strong sales particularly popular in Scotland. What is it? What no one knows, it's a peculiar flavour. It's got nothing to do with iron, which is probably why they take the zero, the O out. Zero? How many zeros are there in iron, mate? Uh, <laughs> none right now. Can I sit? No, mate, be my guest. Mate. That is, that's nothing natural about that, is no, it? No, it's just, it's like just drinking, like, nuclear waste. <laughs> Can I take this hat off, please? <laughs> Now, J.K. Rowling wrote Harry Potter in Edinburgh. They say that she modelled 
Diagon Alley on Victoria Street that we're on right now. But we're not here for any potty privileges. We're here for, oink. Hog roast with the most? Putting the hog in my gar. <laughs> there are three sizes, small, medium, large. Basically, they call it piglet, oinker, and grunter. And if you want to do it properly, get the stuffing and apple sauce. None of this mustard mayo crap. That is rude. On one of Edinburgh's classic steep lanes with not a lot on it really, is this little place, Wings. I'll give you one guess, Will, as to what they do. <coughs> that was hauntingly accurate. Yeah, they do chicken wings. Let's go in. <laughs> We've got Canadian Reserve, Smoky, Maple Barbecue. This is a baby blue, which is buffalo and blue cheese sauce. We've got Bango, Mango Sriracha, and then one that we'd actually know because the ingredients were none of your business, I said. They are smothered, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Nice suitcase, right? <laughs> Big up away for the baggage. I'm just going through our Cornwall video that we posted last video, looking at some of the comments because you guys have some imagination. It's a guy called Bumzilla85. <laughs> I wish I had a nice car and a hot girlfriend I could give a good seeing to after fish and chips. What have I done with my life? <laughs> right. Well, are you hungry? I mean, I'm not. Are you? Interesting. Oh. 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 The Bon Vivant sounds like a French name. However, it's not a French restaurant, I found out. I've heard incredible things about this place. Oh my god. Oh my days. Here we have a smoked salmon roulette on a charcoal cracker. Haggis bonbon, of course, with bacon and chili jam. That's the best haggis I've ever had, man. Mushroom sausage roll with truffle mayo. Oh, Tumworth baked cheese. Oh my days. He likes that. Hey, food here is good. Like, that's good. I cannot recommend the Bon Vivant enough. Fantastic service, great food, great drinks, great ambiance. We've also got a shopping list for the best night out in Edinburgh. I like the sound of Lucky Liquor. Though. Liquor Lucky? Mm. I really bet it's moon. Uh, action! I actually don't know anything you just said. I was like, oh, what is that? So we've come to Lucky Liquor Company because it's been highly recommended by these two broads here. Lucky Liquor came very well recommended from the guys at, what was that place called? Bon Vivant. Bon no, Bon Vivant, that's correct, yeah. Come on, Will, let's go inside. What's really cool about Lucky Liquor is the menu changes every 13 weeks. All the cocktails are made using 13 ingredients that they hand make themselves, and you can see at the back bar, all lit up, all in different colours. I'm a Negroni man, so I've gone for a Negroni Fresca. This Negroni Fresca is made with a straw <laughs> I'm a Negroni man, Will, please. I'm a Negroni man, so I've gone for a Negroni Fresca. Stop it. <laughs> I'm a Negroni man, so I've gone for a Negroni. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Top jaw. Pandering Sons Barbershop. Now, what does that look like, Will? Just look unassuming, right? Pandas, barbershop, but an open door, and it's half past 10 pm. That's because, ladies and gents, it's a mother freaking speakeasy. <laughs> yes, it's a bar. What's up, my umbrella? Will start of day two. We didn't do a run this morning because we had a bit too much whiskey last night. So we've decided to get our morning coffee fix at Cairngorm Coffee. Called Cairngorm because all their coffee beans are roasted in the Cairngorm Mountains, which is about an hour north of Edinburgh. We've ordered two little oatmeal flat whites, banana loaf and a river sandwich. You'll probably see a recurring theme here that when most places we go to, Will and I try and seek out the best cup of coffee we can find. And that coffee was real good, wasn't it, Will? Like it was spot on. Oat milk in there as well. Love. Yes, well, you're live on camera, mate. That's very exciting. Oh. We've our fans. <laughs> so Neil Forbes, the chef director of this place, says that cooking is... So 
Neil Forbes, the chef director of this place, says that cooking is an emotional experience using all the senses. We're in Cafe Saint Honoré. Neil is chef director here and has been for the past 12 years. What are we going to do today, Neil? We're going to uh, show you around the restaurant a little bit. We're going to chat about what we do and what we believe in here at Cafe St. Honoré. One of our biggest sellers here is venison. We'll pick you some venison. We haven't had venison yet, have we? No, no. no. Not on our trip. Then I think, just on the foraging kind of note, we'll probably glaze you a creme brulee. For that touch of French. Yes. So I'm going to take my pew here. Yeah. Grand. See you in a sec. That is absolutely divine, Neil. Creme brulee infused with sweet Sicily rather than your ordinary vanilla. I like that herby, slightly aniseed taste that comes through. Amazing to meet Brilliant. you and Good learn pleasure. about all the great things you do here and at Edinburgh in general. Once again, Will, Top Jaw has introduced us to a very lovely chef doing brilliant things. I love that. Absolute legend. Absolute legend. This is Queen's Arms. Neil has just told us to come here. This is a beautiful, cozy, really, really lovely little pub. Quick little beer, Will. Cheers, Will. Love you long time. I go there, I go there, I go there. Boom! See ya. I could have happily settled in there for an afternoon of pint shopping, couldn't you? We've had this thing called a gourmet mash bar here. Mash as in potato mash specialists. And I'm quite intrigued. This mash is coveted. Just this year, they won TripAdvisor's best casual dining restaurant in the UK. This is lamb shank, which is slow braised and garlic, rosemary, red wine, tomatoes, a little scotch egg and rare breed pork on the side, served on a cheddar and potato roasty. Mate, this cheese roasty is what I'm talking about. That was some smashing mash right there, Will. It's colder now, Will, isn't it? It's, I think it's colder because we're near the sea. We're now in Leith. Still kind of part of Edinburgh, just a different district. But right now, we're here for this little restaurant behind me, Aurora. This was TripAdvisor's number one restaurant in Edinburgh because the food it kicks out is so exquisite. This is a butternut squash milfoy. This is the Orza pasta. This is a wheat pasta that looks like rice, cooked in like a blue cheese sauce. Oh man, this is their signature dish, braised pork cheeks. Oh wow, it's like a collection of flavours that you don't, you don't, I think I've had like braised pork cheek in a langoustine bisque. You know what I mean? Man, I really, really rate this place. I really do. Even if you're just not coming to Leith at all, and you're just in Edinburgh, this is worth a trip. Leith is an interesting place. A lot of people who work in Edinburgh live in Leith and absolutely love it. It's where the rules of golf were first made. It's where the saline drip was invented. And in the 1960s, there was about 90% of all Scotch whiskey being made right in Leith. But we're here for Nauticus right now. We haven't had a pint of tenants yet, but also we've heard the cocktails are sublime. So let's go, Will. Kyle owns the Nauticus. It's made me like a twist in the 20th century. So it's whiskey, white cacao liqueur, orange liqueur, lemon juice. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I've heard a lot about this little new sandwich shop called Albies. Kind of nearby, it does hot sandwiches open till 10 p.m. and they're a real treat. What's great is a big bricks beef short rib. Red sauerkraut, rocket. That's fantastic. Guys, this is awesome. Jesus Christ. Guys in the bus. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> we're back to where we were earlier. This is the Raw Mile. Down there is a little bar called Devil's Advocate. We fancy a whiskey, don't we, Will? Oh, sorry. Not many other places have that many whiskeys. Right, this is a sweet, smoky. Well, oh, that's nice. Ha! Ah, this is Paradise Palms. Funky, delicious. I like this place, man. It's cool vibes, isn't it? Will, that's yours. 
And uh, that's fine. Five thumbs up, right? These little postcards here on every table, if you fill it out and you give it to them at the bar, they'll post it off for you at their expense. What? I mean, that is actually really good. Right, back at ranch, we decided to call it because we're over our 48 hours. We've got early flights in the morning. This has been a great trip. I mean, the highlights for me have been the Bon Vivant last night. Loved it in there. Neil Forbes today, what a legend. And just, just generally how beautiful Edinburgh is and how easy it is to get around and how friendly and welcoming everyone has been. This film has been completely self-funded like so many of our films on our Top Door channel. So please just give it a little like, a little smack of that subscribe button. It really helps us on our journey. Thank you very much for watching.